Hey, if you're new and you're selling life insurance, you need to know the difference between term and whole life. I guarantee you'll learn something you didn't know by continuing to watch this video. All right, I'm gonna do a life insurance explanation on term life versus whole life. All right, you hear from others, you hear from Dave Ramsey, buy term, invest the difference, or you hear from a lot of final expense agents, you know, that, well, someone's later in their life and you know what, because Dave Ramsey would say, hey, don't buy whole life insurance. Well, what if you're 72, you haven't planned before and you wanna just take care of your burial and final expenses, all right? Or maybe, I've seen a lot of people stuff money away into a whole life insurance policy for later, all right? You've also heard of IULs, you've heard of a lot of different policies for life insurance, all right? So I'm gonna walk through term life versus whole life, okay? So first of all, all right, term is kinda of like, I wanna compare it, it's kinda of like renting Whole life is permanent, right? So it's kind of like renting a home versus buying a home. You could use that as an example, right? Because term can be for 10 to 30 years. Whole life is your entire life, right? You could also say that term is better if you have a family. You could also say that term is better if you have a lot of debt. You could also say term is less expensive instead of using the word cheaper. You could also say that whole life is better for covering final expenses or end of life expenses. You could also say that it's more expensive per thousand dollars worth of coverage, okay? You could also say that, well, just a comparison standpoint and not actually explaining the agent side of it, right? There's, because there's, most companies maybe would pay more for whole life than term. Well, why is that? If someone keeps a policy for their whole life, it's going to pay out, right? Where you could say that, you'll hear the statistics of, well, one to 3% of term policies actually pay out, right? Well, if you needed to, let's just say that you are similar to my, to, to my age, okay? Let's just, say that, let's just say that someone is 30 years old, all right? They have, they have debt, like maybe say, they, maybe say they have a home, right? And they want, you know, they want to cover some income because they're married and they have a spouse, right? Let's just say that they wanted a million dollars in coverage, right? I have a lot more than a million dollars life insurance, and I believe most people should as well, okay? However, let's just say if that was the case, you could maybe get a million dollars life insurance for, for 20 years for, you know, probably 30, 30, 40, 50 bucks a month and maybe even less than that, okay? But on whole life, you can't, right? Let's just say that on a whole, on a whole life ins insurance side, maybe you're 64 and you wanna get $10,000 worth of coverage. Well, it may be also 40, 50, $60 per month, but it lasts your entire life, right? There's massive differences between the two, they're both life insurance. And when I think about selling life insurance, here's what I think about. I think about one thing. I think about a consumer has a problem and life insurance can be the solution. Now, the problem can vary. So that's why I'm not a one size fits all. I'm not a, here's your, you know, no matter how, what, what sickness you have, here's a prescription, right? That's, that's just not how I roll, right? I say they're both phenomenal. They both, Right, because when I sell, well, there, there's a lot of s seniors that I may sell whole life insurance to. I've sold $505 a month whole life insurance policies. I've sold $1,000 a month terms, right, to someone maybe that's 70, 69, okay? It varies, and I think they're both should be sold, but they both serve different purposes, right? I always think that the, 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 the easiest way to explain it is I think if you need, if you need a lot of coverage than I think term, 
right? If you don't have a lot of coverage, if you don't, if, if you don't need a lot of coverage, maybe whole life's the right choice. Okay. If you ask, there, there's a lot of, there, there's independent agents out there that would, that would, that would differ on the types of, of, of and they typically have a, a preferred preference, right? I don't have a preferred preference. It don't matter to me. Or, but, and I think because I started out as a captive agent, right? And I started as a captive agent. I sold both and I did what was ever in the best interest of the client. So that's the way I think about selling and how I explain life insurance term versus whole is I always think, you know what? Yeah, it's more expensive per thousand. Yeah, maybe it's less expensive, but I think about it. Okay, either way, they both are a solution to a problem that a client is having. And it's our job as a life insurance agent, life insurance advisor, life insurance field underwriter, whatever you want to call yourself. It's your job to explain and put your clients in whatever is the best fit. Right? When we, when, when we go through our fact finding process, we ask questions. When I go to close and actually put someone in a plan, whether it be term life or whole life, I, I tell what we're going to be doing and what's best for you. Right? Because the doctor doesn't say, Hey, do you think you should take this medication? Right? They say, here's the medication you should take. Here's often you should take it. Let's see if it's the right one. Right? And that's how I think about when I'm selling insurance, whether it be term life, whether it be whole life. Right? I currently own a lot more than a million dollars worth of term life. I don't own any whole life, right? But I've helped a lot of, there, there's also, there's also, there's also, there's also a, another level to this that's from a permanent coverage that's a lot more expensive that there's a lot of individuals out there that believe whole life is a, is a obvious much better fit as a way to fund retirement from a retirement vehicle and overfund a policy, right? There's people that use whole life for that, people that use IULs for that. Right? There's a lot of differing factors. And I'm someone that says every person is different. Every situation is different. Every person you sit with has different problems. Every person you sit with, maybe some are married, some are not. Maybe some have debt, maybe some are not. Maybe some want the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. Maybe some have a set amount of money of 500 bucks a month and they want a good amount of coverage and they want money to fund retirement. Or maybe somebody's 79 years old and they don't have life they don't have life insurance at all and they just want to fund final expenses or a funeral or a cremation, right? That's where whole life can come in. So at the end of the day, they both serve a purpose. They can both equally be as beneficial to your client, but the whole goal is to do what's in the best interest of the client. So I, I, I want to encourage you to not think of one or the other as the right choice because there's a lot of companies out there that would push a certain one, right? There's a lot of companies out there that would say, hey, just like Dave Ramsey, hey, buy term, invest the difference, never buy whole life. Well, what if someone never planned ahead? Or what if someone wants to overfund a policy for retirement? Or what if someone wants something that's permanent? Or what if somebody, you know what, already has term life? You see what I'm saying? There, there's, there's variables, okay? So when you're explaining it to your client, as I'm explaining it to you, just realize that there's a solution for every single person, no matter who they are. All right, so we're talking about term and whole life, all right? You, you say, well, dude, I, I, don't, I don't know, or I'm not educated. And the whole reason that you're clicking on this video and asking this question right now is because you're not overly, and you're probably wondering what am I I'm about to do, right? Stay tuned, okay? You're probably sitting there thinking, okay, I, I, I don't know enough, all right? And we get thousands of questions a month from insurance agents saying, I need to be better. 92% of insurance agents fail, which is why I created something that is called Success Society. Okay, it's called Success Society. And what I've done with this is I have a secret Facebook group that most people are not a part of, but you need to be. Okay, other like minded agents that want to succeed, they're in there. Okay, I also do a weekly training call. Every single week, you get me 52 weeks out of the year helping you be better. Most fail, most struggle, we can fix that, okay? Also, you get access to a private event at our 8% Nation Conference. You also get an initial coaching call with me. 
Now for the time being, and there's even more that comes with this, the value's incredible, you can get $3 off leads, right, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot that we have to offer in this program, which is Success Society. Currently, as of this video, it's only $497. Now I can't promise it'll be that when you call in or when you email me to get in, right? But do me a favor right now. If it sounds like something that would benefit you, I don't know who it wouldn't benefit. Stop what you're doing and send me an email saying, hey, I want more information on being a part of Success Society because when you're a part of Success Society, we're sprinting to success together. It's, you're a part of a society where I feel responsible for your success. And if you love this video and you want to be better at actually selling this and pitching life insurance, then click on how to sell life insurance. Amazing. It's right there. It's amazing. And I'll see you there. First one's 50,000 for 110, 30,000 for 84, and 10,000 for 61. Which one are you most comfortable with? That's the close. I shut my mouth and I let them make a decision.